the entire series to that point had been very much like a heavyweight boxing match. You know, one team had done well. One team had beaten the other team decisively. A couple of games had been close. There had been testy stuff going on. There had been Embiid with this whole soaring thing, and so on and so forth. So you get to the final quarter of game seven, and you know what? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this one's for all the marbles. That's a great shot right there, wow. Yeah. This is a nice setup, wow. Where do I sit? Sit like this? Ooh. 4.2 to go, tied at 90, and the Raptors will have an opportunity here for a game winner. I think about Serge's comment when he said like we kind of had to win it in regulation because he didn't have a good feeling going into the overtime. And being a, an X is an O guy, I wondered what Nick was gonna pull out. And when I saw the play initially form and where guys were cutting, it's like, this is gonna be Kawhi. It's gonna be like game winner or overtime. You knew that he had that baseline drive and that spot that he wanted to get to. But you also recognize that once the play started, they're on the wrong side of the court. <laughs> so you knew he had to go all the way around. There's 4.2 seconds left. The ball's inbounded to Kawhi. Ben Simmons was guarding him right off the top, right at the top near the three-point line. So at this point, for me, distance-wise, they're about 12 feet from me. And I'm watching it with the focus. I, I, I don't know how a doctor pays attention when a baby's being born, but I am dialed in 110%. Kawhi at that point is headed toward the corner. And I'm like, that's a good corner, but like, there's two guys there, like the biggest guys, <laughs> right? And it just didn't seem like it was even possible that he could get a shot off, much less get it in. I was standing in the in the corner with actually with Coach Nurse's wife. She had just given birth, so she probably had like a three day old kid. Um, <laughs> it's probably better she had the baby before. <laughs> um, you know, so I, I see him. I see him receive the pass. He dribbles towards the corner. I'm actually thinking like he's not going to get it off in time. He's got to get away from two guys especially the big guy coming this way. And he jumps to that spot and then gets low and then jumps backwards. Kawhi shoots a frozen rope. Like you can hang your laundry on his stuff, man. It's, it's, it's straight. That thing went up in the air. And it was, I think it was loud in the beginning. And then as the ball left Kawhi's hand, not a word. The arena is silent. Like, Everyone has breathed in the exact same time and is holding it. It was almost as if everything is slow motion. The shot goes up and it's just hanging there forever. So you're just like. I remember thinking that's it's a good angle. Like he shot it away from him. It's it's floating in. But then when it hit the rim, I'm like, ah, oh. in my head, I'm like, ah, that's that's a miss. And it hits the first time on the rim, softly. I just wondered like, okay, if it hits the front rim, does it have enough legs? And you've just seen so many shots in your life, right? Like, okay, you just kind of have it all timed. And when it hits that rim the first time, you're going, okay, they missed. Uh, well, I thought it was going, but when it started, hit on the one rim, one of the first one, I said, it's going to make it, it's going to miss. Oh no, it hit the rim. Oh, not overtime, please not overtime. And then it hits the rim the second time and you're almost kind of like, what is going on here? Second bounce stays right there. Okay, I, every bounce I'm going, this is great. And then when it hit the second, I got up out of my chair, I was like, no. And then it went to the other, it bounced on the other side. I'm like, wait a minute. And by this time it feels like, you know, half an hour's passed, like it's insane. And now my heart is going, you know, all of us. And after that third bounce, that just killed it. And you're just sitting waiting, like, you know, what are you gonna write? What's your next sentence gonna be? And it's almost like, uh, do you mind? Like, we got things to do here. You're frozen. Like, you don't know what to say. There's nothing you can say until the ball either goes through or it bounces out. And the thing bounced four times. It took long enough for Kawhi to elevate, shoot it, come to the ground, squat down, and still wait for it to go in. And, and, like I waited, I waited, I did. <gasps> bounce, 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 bounce. 
and in. And then it goes from silence to pandemonium, which I think everyone remembers. God! Ah! <laughs> the chaos went off. It was nuts. And I pulled like a coach nurse. I was like. <laughs> For like 12 seconds. My room was a mess. It was, it was bad. Like I was throwing everything. I'm almost breaking my laptop, let alone my body, jumping up in excitement and then calming down for five seconds, going live on air and then realizing I don't need to be calm because the whole city and country is going crazy right now. Open the microphone and I remember just saying over and over, Kawhi Leonard, oh my goodness, Kawhi Leonard, oh my goodness, Kawhi Leonard, shouting it over and over. Not that anybody could have heard me. It was just this incredible, uh, like, explosion of human energy. You could feel like Scotiabank Arena shaking for like at least 25 seconds. The whole building was shaking. My heart's beating right now. Yeah, Just yeah, thinking back to that, way. seriously. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. I scream. Like I let out a scream and two seconds after the shot goes in, I get a knock, knock, knock on my hotel door room. Security. Ma'am, is everything all right in there? <laughs> I mean, no, like, I was like, are you not watching this right now? In that moment, if you're not a fan, then something's wrong with you. Kawhi up top, looks at the clock, turns the corner for the win! You know, I jumped over the chairs in order to embrace the guys on the team because I, I understand how hard it is to um, get that far. So for us to have that opportunity to have the last shot and to win on the last shot was just amazing. And that's something we're going to talk about for years, not just when you're talking about the Raptors, when you're talking about basketball in general. You're going to talk about that for years. The Raptors have been on the wrong end of those moments so many times, and for them to be the first team ever to hit a Game 7 series clinching basket, like, that's forever. It's kind of weird to think that they went to the finals and they won the championship and a shot from the second round is probably going to be the moment that people remember from that run. For Kawhi, it probably felt like two minutes, but there was that moment that he allowed himself to feel the emotion and then you could see where, okay, enough. We're not done yet. I think it was big for the franchise because you didn't know there was going to be a championship. You just, I, I think my last words were, it's on to Milwaukee in the Eastern Conference Final. Like, okay. I think it's one of those you enjoyed in the moment, but it was the second round, so we knew our ultimate goal was, was winning the championship. But having that shot and winning the championship, you know, it's a dream come true. That is a generational moment. It's gonna be handed down. Right, where were you? You remember how we felt. And so to me, it's something that will live forever.